Steve and his father-in-law Don cropped 1,500 acres near Riverton, South Australia. As a Nuffield Scholarship recipient, Steve has done extensive research on the zero-till disc seeding systems. This farm has been in existence since uh, 1850s and uh, my wife's family had the property here. Um, we took over in oh, 20 years ago and uh, saw an opportunity where we could uh, farm through this area. We've been doing 15 years of no-till um, with not press wheels and points and last year for a few paddocks we actually bought a new seeder in from Argentina with disc machines and so this year everything will be put in with discs. Seeing them overseas and some people in Australia using where you don't have to do anything to the stubble to be able to go through it and uh, so yeah we've gone into the disc machine so we can keep all the stubble minimal soil disturbance or zero disturbance. I feel we were doing the right thing by keeping as much stubble as we could. Looking at increasing soil biota or the living part of the soil, increasing the organic matter where we can feed those soil biology um, and we can get into a system where there is a continuous flux of both carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus for the plants to be available rather than in the traditional hit at seeding time, hit at growth stage 31 or 9, um, we can see it will see a continual flux of that uh, nutrient cycling and therefore be better for the plants. There is uh, a number of machines available in Australia that were disc machines which were big and very costly. Um, I saw one the other day for a new one was $300,000, that's not including the box. So it's a lot of money and being a small to medium sized farm, uh, we couldn't afford that and justify it. But I, and I'd heard that there were machines overseas and some starting to be imported into Australia of smaller machines that uh, will do the job. And so part of my Nuffield was zero till disc seeding systems I was looking at. And that led me to South America and into North America where they do produce machines for smaller cockies and uh, actually ended up buying one out of Argentina, or a Bettini it's called, um, and they actually made a machine for my specifications, so that was excellent. And uh, landed in Australia just over $100,000 for an 8.8 .8 metre machine with a 5,200 litre uh, seed box and super box. Mm -hmm.